Samsung's Galaxy S22 flagship series is expected to be unveiled in January 20, 2022, one year after the Galaxy S21 range was first revealed. Or, as some reports indicate, it will be released this year. Regardless, the Galaxy S22 Trio is still cloaked in mystery, at least for the time being, despite recent leaks and reports that may have cast some light on the forthcoming series. Nothing has been formally confirmed thus far, but rumors continue to circulate, and odds are that at least some of them are true. Now let's get right into it. Here's everything we know about the Galaxy S22 series, or think we know. Keep in mind that this isn't a complete list, and it will be updated as additional information becomes available. First we are going to look at the display specifications of the Galaxy S22. The Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 Plus are expected to have somewhat smaller displays than the Galaxy S21 and Galaxy S21 Plus, according to previous speculations. According to the same sources, the Galaxy S21 Ultra would keep its 6.8-inch display diagonal and will be the only model of the three to have an LTPO backplane. The Galaxy S22's display is expected to be between 6.06 and 6.1 inches, while the Galaxy S22 Plus will have a display between 6.5 and 6.6 inches. Although resolution and refresh rate specifications remain unknown, all three flagship models are almost certain to support 120Hz refresh rates. Now looking at the Galaxy S22 series camera features. Similar to the iPhone 12 Pro Max, Samsung's Galaxy S22 series could be the first to use sensor shift camera technology. This method stabilizes the sensor of the camera rather than the lens, resulting in higher image quality and stabilization. Furthermore, the Galaxy S22 could be Samsung's first flagship series to use cameras created in conjunction with Japanese optical giant Olympus, although the specific purpose of this supposed collaboration, if it exists at all, is unknown. If you are enjoying this video and want to get the latest updates on the Galaxy S22 series, then hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, we post new videos every day. According to some sources, the Galaxy S22 series would not include a TOF sensor because Samsung believes the technology does not currently have enough applications. Moreover, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 introduced the under-display camera technology in August, although the Galaxy S22 series is unlikely to use it. The Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 Plus are expected to have a 50 megapixel sales main camera and a 10 megapixels telephoto sensor with 3x optical zoom. And while the camera arrangement is unlikely to receive significant improvements in some aspects, it could benefit from its continuous zoom capabilities. According to rumors, the Galaxy S22 Ultra will have a 200 megapixels camera, likely the ISUS LHP1 that was shown in September. Now talking about what we expect the Galaxy S22 series hardware to be like. In some markets, Samsung's forthcoming flagship series is expected to be equipped with an Exynos chipset, while in others, a chip provided by Qualcomm is expected to be used. A Cortex-X2 CPU core, three Cortex-A7 10 cores, and three Cortex-A5 10 cores are rumored to be included in the Snapdragon 898 chipset, which has yet to be revealed. According to reports, the next Exynos 2200 SoC from Samsung could be the first chipset to have AMD graphics, which would significantly increase the performance of graphics-intensive applications. This chipset, which was developed by Samsung Labs using a 5 nanometers technology, is intended for use in both smartphones and laptops, according to the company. On the subject of battery capacity, there are signs that the Galaxy S22, Galaxy S22 Plus, and Galaxy S22 Ultra will have batteries with capacities ranging from 3,800 mAh to 4,500 mAh and 5,000 mAh, respectively. Also important is the fact that all three phones should be capable of fast charging as well as wireless charging. For the first time in the Galaxy S's history, Samsung is said to be bringing Qualcomm chips to Exynos markets and vice versa, according to industry sources. In India, the Galaxy S22 series could debut with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 898 processor, while Verizon Wireless may opt to introduce the Exynos 2200 processor in the United States. Now to the design of the Galaxy S22 series. Though it might be too early to tell, we are unsure where Samsung will take the design of its Galaxy S series in the near future. Samsung does not appear to have finalized all of the design characteristics of the Galaxy S22 series at this time, but additional information is bound to emerge at some point. Fan renderings are available, but they are primarily based on assumption. 
For the time being, one report is that Samsung is considering using polycarbonate for the back panels of both the Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 Plus, with Gorilla Glass being reserved for the Galaxy S22 Ultra instead. The Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 Plus may potentially benefit from decreased production costs and launch prices as a result of this. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, because we are going to continually update you with videos on the latest information, leaks, and rumors about the Galaxy S22 series as they become available. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.